a message from White Cloud and the Light Collective. September 13, 2013 As the golden rays of autumn light your skies in the northern latitudes, you are witnessing the demise of the old paradigm of war, divisive politics, financial manipulation, fear and greed. So much has changed in so little time. Still, it isn't enough for some who insist on urging others to do more. We respectfully submit that this behavior and manner of thought is still ego-driven. Yes, there is much to do, but it will take some time to adjust to the new energies. There has been so much change that many people find themselves feeling rather bewildered, tired and exhausted. Know that if they have the intent and desire to experience ascension in this lifetime, then they will. Many will not. That is their free will choice and one that needs to be respected. Our scribe has struggled through the last week to regain balance after being submerged into the heavy energies that she deals with on a daily basis at work. She is doing part of her mission by simply being there, as a beacon of light, treating the inmates with respect and compassion. A human angel in disguise, she is simply being what she is, in doing her job. It is quite enough to deal with right now, and challenging enough without getting more immersed in protests and other outer manifestations. Each of you has a reason for being where you now find yourself, whether living in relationship, having a big extended family or living alone, without family. You are where you need to be, or you would be actively changing, or will be soon changing location, work, circumstance when the inner desire overpowers any lingering fear your human ego may still retain in regards to making changes in your life. The rainbow of light workers now embodied on the planet is very colorful indeed. You are from so many different worlds, dimensions, galaxies and universes. Some of you have never existed in form before. It is a challenge just to walk around and be relatively normal. Others of you have spent many lifetimes on the planet and are well versed in dealing with its heavy energies, that are fortunately, becoming lighter every day. Each one of you is unique and the only one who can do what you came here for, your mission. It is for you to discover what that mission is and as many channeled beings have said before, you may be doing your mission by simply being here. As your light body expands and as your physical body is able to hold more light and still function with integrity, you will be able to do more. For some of the older light workers, the constant downloads and upgrades of light and codes has become an exhausting process, for they have spent literally decades and years dealing with using their physical bodies as transformers, stepping down the light so it could be successfully anchored here. The next generations have different missions and inner agendas. Seek within what drives your interest, what brings you joy, what excites and delights and you will discover what your mission might be. Realize also that sometimes completing your mission involves moving out of your comfort zone. Living as human beings, many light workers have successfully adjusted to the materialism that has driven the old paradigm. Others have not. Some struggle financially emotionally, psychically and physically. All these experiences have merit and have been designed by the soul as possibilities before embodiment. It is so very important not to judge anyone for what they are doing or not doing, for in doing so you are still acting out of polarity and ego. It is coming to the awareness of some of the leading edge light workers that the dark ones that they have opposed have acted to the benefit of the light. Without the blatant over-the-top, aggressive warmongering, crazy financial manipulations, regressive and repressive laws, militarized policing of the public, focused attacks on common law and the constitution, and other posturing by the powers that were, the people would not now be waking up. Every person who has sacrificed their life, living or health, the sight of every injured soldier, every desperate homeowner, every unemployed citizen has compelled the citizens of the world with a semblance of awareness outside themselves, to look the paper tiger in the eye and see it for what it truly is. A chimera, an illusion designed for one thing, to control the world, through destruction, darkness and chaos. People are discovering that they are powerful, in and of themselves, and they are in the process of taking back that power. That is their mission. As a light worker, you can choose to join the picket lines, the protests, 
the political process or you can choose to do your light work and engage in rebuilding and reconnecting your light body and rebuilding the planet by doing positive and regenerative activities like gardening, building community, sharing stories, blogging and writing, doing creative activities, healing and educating the newly awakened. Many of the light workers are meant to teach the ones who come with questions and they will come, first in their hundreds and then thousands and then millions. By preparing yourself as best you can, by transmuting your own stuff, discovering your inner teacher, you are preparing yourself to meet those who do not have your background in spirituality, at least in this lifetime. Many of the light workers have been preparing for this transitional period for lifetimes. Others have come in with their spiritual gifts more intact, with the ability to dream walk or experience lucid dreams, to channel and communicate freely with spirit, clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience and other yet undefined senses and gifts. Each of you has something to offer. Do not belittle yourself by comparing yourself with those who seem ahead of you in development, strength, grace or knowledge. You will develop what you need in order to complete your mission by having faith and trust in yourself, in the guidance that you receive 24 7 whether or not you are currently aware of it. And in forgiving yourself for any perceived shortcomings. You are perfect in the eyes of your mother father God, for they see you as you are, a beautiful light being. For many years, the only thread that kept our scribe going was a feeling of divine discontent. She kept pushing herself forward in areas that interested her, first spiritual healing, then reading and studying about the Ascended Masters, experiencing first-hand channeled messages, and most definitely stepping out of her comfort zone by literally picking herself up and moving two states away from family and friends. So, you see, she has already done those things that many people find themselves compelled to do these days as the light waxes strong in this world and people have to confront their fears and sense of inadequacy head on. She may move on when the time is right, but it is not now. Through the power of the internet, she can reach seekers and others who resonate on or near her wavelength, through the magic of the written word. No, world peace will not emerge due to her work but perhaps small changes will emerge through some of the individuals who she touches with the energies we plant within her communiques. Sometimes just the experience of feeling the supportive, loving energies after a difficult day is all one needs to motivate them to do a little more for themselves in terms of their individual spiritual journey. We do not seek to build a religion or change people's minds or to influence them to do things. Each of these things is up to the free will and soul contract of the individual involved. Also, we will work with those who reach out to us, in order to learn, to expand, to heal and to grow. For those who are not ready to communicate with us or even to believe in us, we respect their free will and choices. It is up to the individual to decide when to move ahead and to decide when they are ready to proceed and open to becoming an initiate on the path of return. Sometimes that decision comes after much pondering. For others, in an instant, the heart opens and the person never looks back on their old life. For those light workers who have embodied upon the planet and have not yet awakened, know that their wake-up call may be a little more forceful than what you may have experienced, yet do not judge. Experience is what each soul desires and experience comes in many different ways. No one person is better than another and this equation includes those who have been called the dark. Someone had to volunteer to play the villains in this game and they have done so with gusto. Condemnation is judgment. You have all played different roles, on this planet or on another, at various times during your journey and so it is with those who are currently experiencing the abrupt downfall of all their long-held hopes, dreams, beliefs and yes, their truths. Learn to free yourself of judgment, of one another and mostly especially of yourself. One cannot go forward into ascension without releasing this to God and to the loving energies of the violet flame for transmutation. All the living beings upon the planet, including animals and all living creatures, humanity, the elementals and unseen helpers, those who exist in different dimensions and worlds within the world, all of you create a collective consciousness beautiful in its diversity of color, light and love. 
Those of you who currently exist in human form are in the process of putting off the limiting thought forms of the departing paradigm. We encourage you to allow your horizons and understanding of self to expand much, much wider than ever before and still your dreams will not match what is yet to be revealed. You are truly magnificent in the midst of your turmoil and striving. Humanity's collective heart is expanding and with that growth, the ability for the light to expand and penetrate into the hearts of the sleeping majority of the world's population. Yet even the most skeptical of light workers must realize that the sleepers have and are awakening quickly. With the latest threat of nuclear war, the populaces from countries all over the world realize that they too, would be in danger and that war is no longer an option to solve problems. Indeed, every system of the old paradigm is now being seen and being revealed as entirely unsuitable for dealing with going forward. Understand that it is in your very nature, imprinted in your DNA, to be positive, loving beings. For those who do not feel this way, perhaps you need to look within before lashing out at your neighbor. In the words of a great teacher, remove the log from your eyes, before you seek to remove the moat from your neighbors. Breathe, dear ones, and know that you have the power within, the creativity and imagination needed to deal with any problem that currently exists no matter how seemingly insurmountable it might appear now. As each of the way showers and leading edge light workers comes online with their light bodies through the ascension process, the way will become easier for each succeeding group. This has been proven through the work and experience of teachers such as Jim Self. For those who follow in your footsteps, because of your individual efforts in coming into alignment with self, opening your heart, becoming reconnected to your Merkaba, cube and unified field, you will be assisting those who follow close at your heels. And you will marvel at the ease that they undergo the process of ascension when you might have struggled for years on your own journey. It matters not. There are always scouts and way showers who must find the way forward and those who carve out the path behind them. Then the wagon parties of emigrants arrive and create a road and cities of light and gardens and wonders galore. The forests are replanted, the mountains, streams and valleys cleansed of all pollution. It will happen. It is happening. Dream the dream and go forward on your own path. You will be followed. You will be honored for what you do and what you are, the bravest of the brave, the strongest of the strong. Beloved ones, we love you for the light you hold and honor you as you appear to struggle to discover new ways of doing things. You delight in creating puzzles for yourself. Know that you will solve this one. Enjoy the process. That is part of the reason you are here, to experience this amazing challenging and vital transitional period as a darkened world is turned into a beautiful paradise once again. One more nugget for thought, without the dark, there would be no growth. Complacency and stagnation has brought down more than one civilization. It is in the dark, moist soil that the seed rests until the warmth of the spring sunlight triggers the impulse to grow, to stretch and to become. So it is with this world. Dark and light are indeed a polarity, a mystery and a paradox, one on which to ponder in a quiet moment. Now is the time of return of light to this world, this galaxy and this universe. It must start small, but the ripples will affect worlds unseen, far beyond the edges of your present awareness. Be like the seed, responding to the light without words or judgment, beliefs or prejudice. Just be who you are and you will go far. We have faith in your abilities and the gifts of spirit that you have yet to uncover that lie within each of you. Namaste. Go in peace, with light and love. You are love. You are light. You are the crested one, each and every one of you. Thank you, White Cloud and the Light Collective. Channeled by Tazjima, Elizabeth Harris Escher. BlueDragonJournal.com